I am one of the results of the moon landing. I was woken up by my parents. I still recall it as a very important moment of my life. My dad, he showed me the three stars that compose the belt of Orion. And I was wondering how far are these stars? And at that moment, I knew that I had to do something related to space. ESA, we are an intergovernmental organization with 23 member states. ESA has done a lot in the last 50 years. For example, last year we had 13 launches of major satellites. We had the inaugural flight of Ariane 6, that's the heavy launcher for Europe. We had many missions and highlights. But what we really have achieved is we have created one of the most competitive industrial ecosystems in the world. Space is tough. Space is rocket science, literally. We're witnessing a really steady increase of the number of satellites, the volume of data in the context of Earth observation. It's expected that the data will increase at least by a factor of 10 in the coming years. We have today 300 terabytes per day of data available from the Copernicus satellites. It's not the data at the end that has a wealth, it's the information that you derive from the data. All of our partners in academia and industry, they have their own resources, but they have been always asking for additional resources where you can put everything together and work for a common goal. ESA did not have a high-performance computer up to now. Space HPC for Europe is a long-term project. It was planned by us a few years ago. and It is a critical element of ESA digital transformation and a critical development for capacity in Europe and for our organization. It allows for more depth and granularity, and it also provides more time for us to figure out how to respond to urgent events. Developing a supercomputer requires a wide range of skills in engineering, in AI, in information technology, even in civil engineering to set up the sites. All the skills we have at ESA from different teams and also by our contractor and partners like New Packard Enterprise for the capacity and the computational force of the Space HPC. Space HPC, I think, is a really new strategic infrastructure for Europe, for ESA, for Italy, but also for the industry that will be able to use it because it's a facility that will elaborate high volumes of data. The reason why we do it here in Azrin is because here in Azrin we actually have the focal point of those data archives from over 40 years data from 30 partners and from European missions. Having this new system is going to allow us to improve our forecasting and improve our understanding of the science behind space weather. I'm quite happy that now ESA has enabled small to medium-sized enterprises as well as our internal engineers and researchers to have this platform. This allows the European space sector to be more ambitious with their projects and what they want to do. We have worked in collaboration with the HPE to demonstrate that all computer models work and perform very well in this new system. And this is not going to help only on the new discoveries of science and physics of space weather, but also into the mitigation of the potential impacts of space weather. The HPC has dedicated a large part for AI capabilities, and this will help uh, develop the new way of adopting AI in all kinds of applications. Space, ground segment, even our life at ESA. And it is a real revolution impacting us in the near future. What are the needs in the coming decades associated to the environmental sector, where you need to have more missions, where you need to fill gaps with the existing planned missions? And that's really where we'd like to go. So we have to work more on prediction capabilities, forecasting, and not just reactiveness to disaster management. And we also have to support more the industrial competitiveness of the European industry. This is part of our DNA and mandate in the ESA Convention. This is something that drives us all the time. What I do see is certainly that, of course, computing power, AI, will become essential for the use of space. The further away you go in space, the more you need to be independent, autonomous, and there AI, of course, is playing a very important role. There's a lot of new exciting fields that are opening up, and I cannot wait to see them one by one coming, uh, being published and uh, being discovered. Space is always exciting.